to agony hunting because I had an awful lot of agony in my life and um, I was then writing to earn my living and it, I wrote about the things that were happening to me. I was a young widow, I was a single parent, I had enormous financial troubles um, and people started writing to me so I became an agony aunt on the kitchen table first of all and then uh, I was offered a job in when commercial radio started up and then I got an invitation, uh, will you come and be BBC Breakfast Times Agony Aunt? And I turned it down. And I had a literary agent then, and when she heard about it, uh, the air turned blue. You've missed an opportunity like that. So I came down to work on BBC Breakfast Time for six months, uh, and I stayed there for two years. And then I got an invitation, would I come and work on a programme called This Morning? And I said no, <laughs> and the next day I got a very sneaky call saying our editor used to watch you when uh, she was you know, a young trainee and she really would, and I fell for it. I think it was an entire fiction, but I fell for it. And I came down to Liverpool to the Albert Dock, sun was shining on the water, and I said okay, I'll come for six months. And that was 21 and a half years ago, <laughs> so I've been here 22 years. The saddest letters that I ever get from grandparents are where there's been some kind of family rift and they're not seeing their grandchildren. And I do remember uh, that um, I made page three of The Sun once without taking off a stitch of clothing because I had just had a new grandchild and I was very happy about it. And on the phone in uh, a couple of days later, I got a call from a grandmother who wasn't being allowed to see her grandchild and it brought tears to my eyes and there was a picture of me in the sun on page three and underneath it said Denise cries in front of millions uh, and because I thought it's so lovely having grandchildren and being separated from them is hell. Um, you have to be very careful because grandparents have to remember that they've had their go and there now is a mum who wants to be queen of the walk and she's entitled to be queen of the walk but a good tactful grandma who's there when she's needed is a, there's nothing like it grandparents have a huge role to play the very strange thing I've noticed is that they can often be a bond between a grandparent and a grandchild I've had um, young teenagers say to me you know gran understands my nana knows what I'm talking about uh, and so I think a tactful grandparent stepping in can make a world of difference but a grandparent's role is to be there when you're needed and to do what is needed. We're not getting it right in our treatment of grandparents. Their role legally is uh, almost non-existent. They don't have any rights. The trouble with having rights is that if you exercise the rights, you sometimes make family conflict worse. So we have to be careful, but we need to look at it. Uh, also, where a grandparent has to take on the role of full-time caring, are we compensating them enough? I mean, they didn't, in a sense, ask to have to become a parent again. And I sometimes think we rather leave them to get on with it when we should be giving them more help. So I would like the country as a whole to look anew at this amazing source of help and comfort that if it's properly used, can be just wonderful. I adore being a grandparent. The only bit I don't like is you have to hand them back. 
<laughs> and I talk to lots of other grandparents who say that's the best bit, not for me. Um, I have eight grandchildren, some of whom now are huge, um, and because they, they are all step-grandchildren. My, the one child I gave birth to uh, is not married yet, um, but my step-grandchildren are wonderful, and I have four great-grandchildren who are very tiny. So it's absolutely lovely, keeping track of all the birthdays and Christmases and where they are in the country. But it's very nice when a huge hulking brute of a boy walks through the door and says, Grandma, and gives me a hug. I like that. I haven't found being a step-granny uh, any different. I, um, I have loved those children since they were born. Um, I love to see them, I love to watch them grow. Would I like some my genes to be reproduced? Yes, but he's being awfully slow about doing anything about it. Um, but uh, for me, it's been a joyful experience uh, and I would wish it could be so for everybody. Sadly, when there's family conflict, um, you often can find that one side of a family will try to shut another side out. There's room for all the grandparents that you can get. You honestly don't need to say, keep out, this is my space. Uh, I'd just like everybody to sort of think that a child needs to live in a many faceted society. There's room for everybody. Uh, but sometimes I'm preaching, I'm whistling at the wind. Mm -hmm.